Johnny Mercer. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. And we all understand the human, uh, the, the element of this, and not being able to comment publicly, but there is a human element. Uh, to all this, and there are good men and women up and down this country with their families who want somebody to come out and publicly uh, refuse these uh, proposals that have come forward. Would the Secretary of State agree with me that now is a good opportunity to get a grip on this process and lay out a broad vision for what UK defence looks like post Brexit? Yeah, yeah. I think the, my honourable friend makes a very powerful point. We do need to be drawing these matters to a conclusion as swiftly as possible. We need to be making sure that people have a clear idea of what our intent is, how we are going to develop our armed forces, making sure that they have the right resources in order to deliver everything that we ask of them. That is what we are going to aim to do. We have the best armed forces in the world. We have got to maintain that. If we want to ensure that Britain remains a global, a global nation, that can project power in every part of the globe. We have to have the armed forces that have resources and the manpower to do that. That is what I will aim to deliver.